Well, if you've been watching my videos recently, you know that AMD has also recently been kind of smacking people around more like its neighbors, smacking them around like every week. And they did it. Again. And you ask how? Well, the first one, the first smacking, was with the X9, 10 and 11 improvements for the RDNA 2 cards, where most users gained a lot of performance. They did it just for the RDNA 2 cards, but it will surely come to older cards as well, I'm pretty sure. And if it doesn't, well, you can use these Amer Nime Moda drivers and you can get those DX11 optimizations on your older cards, such as the RX 5000 series, uh, the Polaris cards like the RX 480, 580, 570 and so on, and even some older cards like Vega as well. I, th I believe it's only Polaris, Vega and, and Navi, so yeah, basically those are the cards. The second smack on its neighbors was the pre-released OpenGL drivers, okay? Those drivers are and still released, you can use them. I have the, um, I have them to download with, um, with the link in this video's description, of course. Uh, you can watch it if you want to know more about that, those drivers. But they do improve the OpenGL performance, in most cases even more than 55%. I had some users installing those drivers and testing them in some OpenGL applications and they have over 50% improvement, so basically going and sometimes even even double the performance, so going from 100 FPS to 200 FPS, and that's great. And now they did it again. What? Right after the sponsor of today's video. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mobile. We're using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shitgame Plays, I'm Fabio Pisca and welcome to my channel. So, what did AMD do now? They basically uh, released Windows 7 drivers. People have been bitching around for not having support on Windows 7 because there are always those users that just love to stick with older operating systems for ages. The same happened with Windows 2000, the same happened with Windows XP and now the same is happening with Windows 7 and it will happen once again with Windows 10 and so on. It is what it is. People were bitching some people and now they offer support for Windows 7 as well with the newest 22.6 6.1 drivers. Now, there's some funny things because they also offer support for Windows 7 for older GPUs as well. For the same GPUs that they offer support for Windows 10 and Windows 11, they also offer support for Windows 7 64 bits. And those include support for GPUs as old as the HD 7000 series, okay? Now, there are some really, really interesting points to these drivers uh, and the first one is that the 22.6.1 my my notebook for the HD 7000 series 8000 series and the R9 200 300 and Fury series they are presented for Windows 7 64 bits and Windows 10 64 bits okay you have them on Windows 7 and Windows 10 64 bits which is nice and you also have the 21.q 1.2 which are from 2021, but the new, the new ones for these older cards are on Windows 7 and on Windows 10. Now, as soon as we go to Polaris, Vega and Navi cards, so basically the RX 400, 500 series, the, the RX 5000, Vega and 6000 series, as soon as we go to those cards or even the Fury ones, I believe, uh, no, the Fury one, not the Fury ones, but as soon as we go to the, to these new cards, we just have these drivers for the Windows 7 64 bits. If we go to Windows 10 or Windows 11, we can't find these drivers. They are just presented for Windows 7 64 bits, which is strange. And that led me to investigate a bit, of course. And when I go to the Windows 10 64-bit versions, uh, where the 22.6.1 drivers are presented even on the older GPUs, or in this case only for the old GPUs, those drivers have no release notes. Which makes no sense because newer drivers always have release notes. If we go to the Windows 7 version, we do have release notes with just one or two bugs fixed. But on the Windows 10 version for the older cards, we have no release notes. 
and AMD, Nvidia and all other companies release new drivers because we actually have support for new things and we have uh, fixes, we have basically new things for the drivers and if you don't have new things for the drivers, why are you releasing them? Or AMD will release new drivers for the newer cards or maybe they will just skip this version and they will make 22.6.1 more focused on older cards for Windows 10 and 7 and on newer cards only for Windows 7 and they will just skip for the 22.6.2 and will bring maybe now the OpenGL improvements as well as they brought the DX11 improvements on the previous drivers and maybe even fix most of the stutterings coming from those DX11 improvements, maybe uh, putting them to work with async computing, putting async, um, async computing working just for the shader loading, I don't really know, but maybe they did something like that. I don't know if they will re-release the 21.6.1 or if they will just go and pass through it uh, to the 22.6.2. All we can do now is wait. And yeah guys, that's all for today's video. AMD is going really, really heavy on the driver on the drivers recently. So they brought the X11, the X9, 10 and 11 improvements. They are now bringing OpenGL improvements and they now even brought Windows 7 drivers for, for people that still use Windows 7 or maybe for people that use those, those computers at work and they need, they need newer drivers because it always helps having newer drivers, newer software. I mean, it is always a good thing. Thing. Uh, AMD is going heavy and users just have to rejoice. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. I won't be testing these drivers obviously, but as soon as AMD re-release them or AMD launches the 22.6.2, I will be testing those. That I can assure you. See you in the next video guys.